So this video you can probably skip if you're not interested in it, but I, I've had some experiences teaching this to uh, some learners and I've seen them struggle with various things and I think it's important to probably put these things up in front of you just in case you struggle with the same thing. Chances are you will. Uh, hopefully you're noticing we can put these labels kind of wherever we want to, right? And uh, we can do compares wherever we want to and jump less than or equal to. And we're really freeform as to what we want to do and how we can do it here. And all the programs I've shown up to this point have been written correctly. They're controlled. They execute to a point and then they leave and they get out and they return. But if you don't think about these things or if you don't structure your program uh, appropriately, you can get some very interesting behavior and probably behavior that you definitely did not intend and so I'm going to show that in this video um, let me first rewind back to kind of where we were at here's our 1000 we said jump less than or equal to again now one learner I was working with they put their increment down here and they had their compare up here now can you think What's going to happen when we do this? And I'm going to change this back to a friendly number 3 instead of trying to go up to 10,000 or 100,000, whatever that was I just deleted. Um, can you think of what's going to happen when we do this? All right, pause the video. And yes, there's an issue. Yes, there's a bug. What's going to happen? All right, let me uh, F11 on this and Control-Alt-D, F11. And we set EAX to 0, we set ECX to 1, we add the 1 to EAX, that's good. We compare ECX to our upper bound, which is 3. And then um, we increment ECX, right? We get to jump less than or equal to, which uh, before that should take us up to... Uh, this instruction right here, which would be right here. We want to loop until we hit this 3, correct? But if I hit F11 here, notice it just goes straight down to the return. So what is the problem? Pause the video and think about it. Okay, hopefully you're gathering that it's critical the compare instruction comes directly above a conditional branching statement. The problem is we have this increment in here, which changed the value of the sign bit and the zero bit, or the flags, I know I keep saying bits, same thing, zero flag or the sign flag, the increment changes that because the, the zero flag, it will be zero if the result of the last operation was zero. All right? And the sign, it'll be one if the last operation was negative. All right? But when I increment ECX from one to a two, I, it was a one, we incremented it to a two, well the result of that is definitely not equal to zero, all right, and it's definitely uh, greater than zero or positive, right? Two is greater than zero, so the sign bit won't be set. So the issue is this instruction messes with our sign flag and our zero flag, which the jump less than or equal to depends on in order to evaluate correctly. All right, now maybe you intended to increment and Maybe you wanted to go as long as those results of those bits were such that would indicate a less than or equal to. But that's not what we're doing here. All right, so in your head, drill that in that generally when you're doing a conditional jump, all right, the conditional jump will look directly at those flags in their current state. And the state has changed almost every single instruction you can give the CPU. Not all of them, but most of them. All right, so we want the compare to be directly above the conditional branching statement or conditional jump instruction. Now another person I was working with, they uh, they 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 actually pretty much kind of did did they did something like this, yes, if I remember right. So so the label is now right above the compare. Then we jump to the label. All right? Does that make sense? ECX we compare ECX to three. What will the value be of ECX? We started out at a one. One minus three means it's negative, which means it's less than, so then we'll jump to again. But then we do the compare again, and we jump to again, and we j do the jump, and compare, and jump, and compare, and jump, and compare, and jump, and compare. We keep going round and round and round. Nothing changes. Let me just illustrate this. F11, control alt D, F11, F11, F11. So ECX, ECX is a 1. 1 minus 3 is going to be less than, so... Go do the compare again, then jump again. Do the compare again, jump again. Do the compare again, jump again. Over and over and over and over and over again. Nothing's changing. So yes, we are using a conditional branching statement, but we're not changing any condition. We're stuck 
in an infinite loop here. All right now, I actually think uh, this programmer's issue was the fact that they just they simply had the label in the wrong location. All right, the label should really be up here, and then there should have been an increment in here, ECX. All right. Um, now we're changing ECX, and eventually ECX will uh, grow to be less than or equal to. It'll grow to larger than three, so now we'll break out. But but boy, be careful with these labels. I mean, you could you got to get the labels correct. You got to put them in the right spots. You can put them anywhere, and that's kind of dangerous, right? I mean, oh, look at this. This is epic, right? Jump less than again. Jump less than again. Jump less than again. That's even worse than doing the compare. It's just burn and churn. Anyway, so. So there you go, that's something else to think about.